Hey guys, today I want to share with you how I DIY this giant wall tapestry behind me for my home office gallery wall. So I have this awkward secret door to my attic from my home office and it's not super pretty, I want to cover it up, but I know that buying a very large scale artwork can be really expensive and they can be heavy too with the weight of the glass and also the frame. So instead, I DIY this lightweight fabric wall tapestry. It's really large and it adds a nice texture. The whole project is so affordable too. I just use all the scrap materials from my other DIY project. And I hope you enjoy this. The first step is to create a stamp that we can use to create a pattern. I ended up cutting two wedges of potatoes and each wedge has two surfaces I can use as the stamp. And then for the paint, I use some chalk paint I have as a leftover and mix with some water. I would highly recommend you to test the paint by just grabbing some scrap fabric and stamp with potato or you can also use a paintbrush just to test out the color and the consistency and see if you like them. And then I just get right down to building up the patterns. So I basically just dip the potato wedge inside the paint and then I press them on top of the fabric. Sometimes it doesn't create a full pattern and then I just use some paintbrush to do some touch-up work as I go. Also, I made sure to alternate the angle at the sides of each potato wedge so that I can create more variations for this pattern. One tip I have for this project is to make sure to put some cardboard or newspapers under your fabric because the paint for me at least is really wet so they can get onto the table and having some sort of protection is important. So once the pattern is done and it gets a little bit drier, I start to do another pass or touch up. The paint generally dries lighter than it appears when it's wet. So basically if the color appears to be too light or if I'm missing um, part of the paint, I'll just do some touch up with a paintbrush. Once everything's dry, I folded the fabric and then sew along the top so that I can create a pocket for wooden dowel to be put through and then I can use that to hang the tapestry to the wall. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this project. And if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe to my channel. Bye for now.